Hi, Sean here from the Tour Guide I'm in Paris, France, and today I'm going to show you the best tours you can take in the City of Life. Hurry! In this video, I'll be detailing some of our most popular tours in Paris and what to expect. It's good for someone who has decided we are the tour company for their trip or those who still need convincing. Before we get into the nitty gritty of tours, we need to go over why they call Paris the city of lights. It's difficult to fathom today with our extensive power grid, but for most of history, when the sun went down, the day was over. You went back to your house, lit a candle, and went to bed. The big issue was crime. With no lights or lighting, it became very easy to elude law enforcement and made it unsafe to go outside at night. In the 17th century, Louis XIV began a project to light the streets of Paris. Crime reduced significantly. By the end of the 18th century, the oil lamp was invented and the entire center of Paris was illuminated. People came from far and wide to see the city of lights. You have to imagine that in your small town, there's probably no nightlife and it was dangerous to be out after dark. Paris had bars, cafes, shopping well into the evening, which made it a cultural capital of Europe and tourists, yes, tourists in like the 17th, 18th century flocked to Paris to see the city that was lit up at night. Okay, on to tours, but don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel because it helps us produce more content. Paris, like Rome, has tons of monuments and history that are deserving of a guided tour. The first thing you should know is that all of our tours skip the lines if the lines are able to be skipped. Some have skipped the line in the tour title and others don't, but they all skip any skippable lines. In this video, we'll cover our Royal Louvre Palace and Museum Tour with Mona Lisa and Crown Jewels, Paris and Day Tour with Louvre, Notre Dame, Eiffel Tower, and Montmartre, Privileged Access Eiffel Tower Tour with Champagne on the Seine, Skip the Line Palace of Versailles and Gardens Tour from Paris, Privileged Access Paris Catacombs Tour with Secret Rooms, La Marais Food Tour, and our private tours. Number one, Royal Louvre Palace and Museum Tour with Mona Lisa and the Crown Jewels. The Louvre is a massive structure spanning 650,000 square feet. How do you start? Where do you finish? Our Louvre tour solves all your logistics issues and brings the monument and its vast histories to life. The Louvre is a former residence for French kings turned into a museum by French emperors, Napoleon, filled with stolen artwork. Then some of the only artwork that wasn't stolen and brought to Louvre was stolen from the Louvre. It's very complicated. Such an impressive complex has a pretty incredible history. Our tours will visit a ton of amazing art that is spread out around the sprawling building. You'll cover the Quote Napoleon, Sleeping Hermaphroditus, Venus de Milo, Coronation of Napoleon, Nike or Nike, Liberty Leading the People, and of course the Mona Lisa plus so much more. You also skip any lines to get inside. I know I mentioned you skip the lines, but I just want to say you skip the lines, okay? Uh, this is the case with all of our Paris tours. Paris in a day tour with Louvre, Notre Dame, Eiffel Tower, and Montmartre. Unlike Rome, Paris is a large spread out city. It's not completely walkable. That said, there is an excellent metropolitan subway. Our Paris in a day tour makes getting around Paris and seeing it all easier. We're not recommending you spend one day in Paris, not at all, but it's often nice to pack your sightseeing into one day so you can have a day off to shop or just hang out at cafes. It also kind of like puts the city into perspective and it makes it easier for you to get around on your, your following days in, in the city in Paris. Our Paris and Day Tour covers Louvre, Eiffel Tower, Montmartre, which is home of Sacre Coeur Church, and also includes a boat tour. This is a lot of walking on this tour, but your expert English-speaking guide will utilize the Paris Metropolitan, and all the emissions, including metro tickets, are included in the price. Privileged Access Eiffel Tower Tour with Champagne and the Seine. I love the story of Eiffel Tower. When it was built in 1889 for the World's Fair, Parisians protested. They did not like the building. Flash forward, and now it's unarguably the symbol of Paris and France at large. On our tour, an English-speaking guide will fully explain the Eiffel Tower construction and how it has weaved its way into French history. All the tales about Gustave Eiffel and his team building this massive structure in about two years. You also take an amazing Seine River cruise and sip champagne as you pass by the Eiffel Tower and other attractions. 
yeah, taking a river cruise is, is slightly touristy, but I did it and it was one of the highlights of my trip. So it's pretty cool. You see a lot and, and Paris is really a city that is amazing to be, be seen from the Seine River. You also get priority access to the tower's second level by elevator. The tour will begin at the ground level where you learn about the history of the tower. You get some great photo shots and then you head to the elevator and get taken to the second level. At that point, some more explanation and anecdotes about the tower and you're left there. You can spend as much time afterwards in the tower as you'd like. There's great bars, cafes, even places where you can get champagne. I definitely recommend scheduling you know, an hour or so afterwards to just hang out at the tower and maybe get a drink or a bite to eat. Skip the Lime Palace of Versailles and Gardens Tour from Paris. So that, those aren't beautifully manicured hedges. That's a line to get inside Versailles. Look how many times it goes back and forth. I am not waiting in that line. Unlike the Louvre, the Palace of Versailles is not in the city of Paris. It was originally built by Louis XIII, who loved the outdoors as a hunting lodge away from Paris. The first structure was described as a mere gentleman would not be overly proud of the construction. Boy, that has changed. The current palace grounds are just over three square miles, and the place is adorned with gold. Literally, okay? Our Versailles tour starts in Paris. We meet at a central RER station and take the rail to Versailles. The round trip admission is included in the price. You'll be accompanied by an English-speaking guy the entire time. After they take you on a tour through the palace, you'll experience the spellbinding gardens of Versailles. Your guide will take you to the beginning of the gardens and explain the fascinating history of the most famous gardens in the world. At that point, your guide will say goodbye and you'll be left to explore your own pace. But don't worry, the guide will explain as you're getting to Versailles how to come back to Paris. I definitely recommend spending some additional time in the gardens, maybe rent a bike, you can even rent golf carts, it's pretty cool. Privileged access, Paris Catacombs tour with secret rooms. Okay, so we all have like a slightly cryptic side and maybe want to see a real skeleton at some point as long as we don't know the person. This is your chance to see literally millions of them. The Paris Catacomb tour is a real treat. It's a 1.5 hour tour, so relatively short, but you explore one of the most unique places on earth. The tunnels are deep below the surface of Paris where an estimated 6 million bodies are buried. Well, kind of. I say kind of because they are buried technically speaking, but they are also exposed. When designing the catacombs, they decided to organize the body in a very artistic way. You know, it's French people there. That's what they do. You have to see it for yourself. La Marais Food Tour in Paris. Food tours are super fun and serve as a crash course for local cuisine. I think you should do one in every city you go to. Our food tour runs in a super cool area named La Marais, which is considered the trendiest district of Paris. An English-speaking guy will run you through the gambit of Parisian evening and culinary culture. You'll drink champagne, eat oyster, cheese, crepes, drink wine, and even falafel, which has ingrained itself into Parisian cuisine. I've personally tested a ton of other food tours in Paris, not from our company, and on one of them, run by a leading food tour company, you went and bought a bunch of cold products and ate them in a table in the basement. It was pretty lame. Our tour takes place walking the streets of Paris, goes into bars and restaurants, and features warm food, sitting down at restaurants. I've done it myself, obviously, and I was super full and a little bit of drunk. It was awesome. Private tours. We run all of our small group tours private as well. They come at a higher price, but there are many benefits. The guide will be there for your group only, customized content and itineraries. You also won't be walking around with other people, which can be a plus sometimes. You can visit our website for more information. There you have it, our recommendations for the best tours in Paris. The tour guide is one of the top rated tour companies in Europe with tens of thousands of five-star reviews in a handful of cities. So that's it, now you know how to see Paris. If you like this video, click the like button. If you love it, subscribe to get all of our content as soon as it comes out. Otherwise, au revoir. Au revoir. Called? Arrondissement. Arrondissement. It sounds like someone's name. <laughs> my name is Arrondissement. <laughs> you killed my father, prepare to die. <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie? Of course. Oh, it's gonna be cool. I'm excited. Paris is nice. France. I'm looking at you for something.